Yep. Hey, it's Aaron from GameOfThroughs.com, and uh, let's play a little bit of Proteus here. Also, I guess it helps with motion sickness. I don't suffer from motion sickness, so I'm not playing um, what was it, Marathon on FBLA, but that's another story. Postcards. Uh, those are my game saves because it is a this is a cross buy game uh, between PS3 and the uh, and the Vita. Uh, this came out on PC I think in January of this year, 2013. I no, I did not play it on the PC, so all I know is that it's sort of open and it's about exploration. So let's explore. There's a lot of water here. A lot of water. I don't have feet. And that's okay. I don't need feet. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh. Control just vibrated. What does that mean? Short buttons to oh, they vibrated again. I'd be lying if I said that part of me is not thinking that, uh, oh, who cares? It's been out for a while first thought was like, this is the mode you unlock when you complete Fez. I know this is a different game, but it just, they reminded me of that, so I wanted to share. I like the music. Just still curious why the controller vibrated when I walked over and stuff. I'm gonna go back over there and see what's what. I don't know what the controls do, so <laughs> let's see help. X to sit. Uh, he's on is unique, but familiar. Press R1 to save a postcard. I press start to open up the options menu. Okay, so that's the whole postcard thing. This. Wait, wait a minute. There we go. That is saving a postcard. Maybe the loading is the actual border fading away. Maybe I made that up. I don't know. Okay, we're near this brown rock log thing. I was over here. Yep, there it is. So what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna keep walking. Okay, there's a sun. There's another one. You can hear the tone. What's this? 
happening in tandem with the vibration, which makes sense. Okay, I'll walk by all of them. Of course, now I'm looking around to see what would change to that make. But what does that mean? And I'm not sure. Currently walking on their right side, going towards the water. Oh, different song. Yep. Now the sun is going down now. One of that's because whatever, however time works here, it's just that's the way it is. Like the seasons changed. That's interesting. It looks like the sun was up when I walked on the left side and hit all the tones. Let's see. It's even lower now. Yeah, the tone has changed. Uh, somehow I think that time is passing because it's passing and that has nothing to do with anything. But I don't know. This is about exploration, so I should explore more. Lights over there. Oh, what's that? Hey, look on those rocks. My attention span is so short. Yeah, I was following the. I don't know if it was a rabbit, but whatever that thing was. But then I saw a rock. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That's different. Everything is moving rhythmically, except for the clouds. Try to walk on the other side and see what happens. Everything's dancing. That is all. 
off that. It has to remind you of like Doom, you know, where you would rotate around the object and it would rotate with you. How did I do that? It's a pretty big one for that. Oh. Sides. I got straight things slower than I was before. No, I can't switch sides. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna do something else. Oh, this one's way up there too. Look at that. It's not making any sound though. It's because the rain stopped. It's really foggy. Can't see very far in front of me. Like a cemetery. What is that light back there? shooting stars coming down. Let's go for a swim. Nah, that's like the original Alan I was already on. Could it make a sound? There we go. The alternate sides. That's the sound of that rabbit thing made. Is it close by? Don't see it. Play the ball on it. Oh, 
only drawback of a game like this is it's, it's nice music. Of course, I don't think you can lose per se. It's just it's so open where it's it it, it has a specific, very specific uh, type of player in mind. That I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's part of its charm. It's if I explore enough, I'll figure out something. It may not be exactly what the developers thought I would figure out, but there will be something. These games certainly are not for uh, for everyone. No game is for everyone. But uh, let's see this change again. Nice. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I know how to move around and do the postcard thing, but inside of that, I'm pretty much clueless. Oh, there's a little thingy again. Let's follow him. Is that a house? Is there a door? That's something new. The door, I don't think I can interact with it though. What is that? Oh, there it is. The leak is not cool. I wish I could jump. Whoa. My sense of speed really accelerates down that hill. It's the closest I think I'll, I'll get to. Can I go up? Huh? Yeah, I can go up that. Wow. Obelisk like rocks sticking out of the ground. Interesting. No idea what to do. Put in a postcard with the sun back. That'll be nice. I've not heard that before. What's that? And it's gone. Can I get too close? Oh, there's more. What is that thing? Oh, wait a minute, what was that? It's a green one. Oh, 
some shade. Okay, little green guy, you're distracting me from getting to that giant object over there. And I know I'll probably never catch up with you either. Because I'm not supposed to. So, yeah. Eh, I'll let him know. I don't know about over there. It was that big giant thing I saw. And there's another one. It's like the castle from Kroll. The beast is in there. Quick, hand me my glaive. giant tree that broke. Is this thing making the sound? Yep, a little further away it fades out, so I'm a little closer. It's this thing. Wake the cookie graveyard again. What was that? Wait a minute. I pressed the circle button. And my eyes closed? I didn't know that was a thing. They went away that I wasn't even that close. Come on, play that song. Uh, I'm gonna have to conclude this uh, this video at some point. Uh, I'm sure once I stop recording, something really cool is gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you about it on the Game of Thrones podcast, uh, but I won't have it captured on video. This is an interesting game. I, I, uh, I think it's. I used to bring up Fez again because it, it is a different game, but it's a game which is pure exploration and puzzle solving. Pretty esoteric puzzles, but um. It's nothing that needs to be discussed. This is a, you know, recess schoolyard game. Well, did you play that? Did you do this? Did you try that? Oops, well, I did this and this happened. I probably got a little rabbit with the hat thing and this happened. Definitely has that kind of appeal to it. I'm not actually sure what to do. I know I'm not losing. Um, no, I'm not sure if I'm winning. The music is soothing. Definitely. I'm curious. It's like this nice ocean view. And as usual, I didn't look up what the price was because for some reason I never do that. Uh, I think it's between 8 and 10. It'll pop up on the screen. But uh, yeah, it's available on Steam now by directly from the developers I think for 10. And this, of course, is the PS3 version. And I'm assuming that the beta version is quite similar, which I will check out later on today. 
I keep my eyes closed? Oh, that's how you think you'd end the game? I should got these postcards. That is really cool, which is since it's going right to that spot. That is that is something else. Wow. I think if you like this kind of pure exploration type of game, you should definitely pick this up. Um, I think just watching some gameplay will definitely tell you if this is up your alley or not. That looks really cool. What is that? How did I miss that before? It's good. A deer or something. What is this? Interesting. This is definitely postcard worthy. It's like getting it all in a shot here. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta get a better angle. Aw. Oh, I gotta wait till it finishes. It's pretty neat how the postcard thing was. You can basically go to any spot you, that you've been to as long as you make it into a postcard. That is really neat. And I'm assuming I can go in and uh, put them into the cloud, pull them down, and delete them. And check them out that way. Alright, so I'm rambling enough. This is Proteus. Uh, yeah, interesting. This is going to require some more time. You see this very relaxing. Yeah. Alright, check out um, some more videos, subscribe, um, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, all those good things that don't happen as often as I like, but you know, I appreciate all the comments I get. Check out GameOfThroughs.com, the podcast there, more videos. That's about it. I'm out of here.